What's up, everybody? This is Carolina Mike, your host for SharePoint in 60 Seconds. And this is the channel where you can come get quick tips. What we'll do is we'll give you the rundown in 60 seconds. We'll talk it through. And then if you really want to stick around for the gory details, then we'll go step by step. And we'll have some fun along the way talking about how we got there and some of the other stuff associated with what we're trying to do so with that thank you so much for stopping by and let's go ahead and get started so today's topic is how to add multiple Twitter feeds to a SharePoint site page it is super slick super simple all you've got to do is first make sure you're working on a modern site page. This does not work on a wiki page. Edit your page. You're gonna add a web part. You're gonna click on the little green plus, or in my case it's green, but whatever. There's a, a plus sign that you'll see in between web parts on the default page. Go ahead and click that plus sign and then scroll down all the way to the bottom. Click on Twitter, type in the Twitter handle, boom, you're done. So let's stick around. I hope you stick around. While you're sticking around, don't forget to like and subscribe. Please go to YouTube, SharePoint in 60 seconds, give a like. We have a goal of reaching 1,000 subscribers before the end of the year. Lofty goals, gotta have goals. All right, so here we go. We're gonna pop into edit mode. And I feel like there is something going on in the background. Sound wise, hold on. <laughs> oh, here we go. Let me fix that. Sorry for anyone that's getting blasted with the music right now. Um. Alrighty, we're back. So we're in edit mode, and then we're gonna pop in here, and we're gonna go ahead and add the Twitter feed. You could search for Twitter if you wanted to. And now it defaults to at Microsoft. You just go ahead and replace that with at whatever. And then it should, there you go, boom. Check it out. Uh, and guess what? There's more. You can add additional Twitter web parts. So let's pick another one here. We're going to go. Whoa. All right. There we go. Boom. Look at that. Republish. And then there we go. It's like huge like this is a communication site so I've got like full width um, sections here but that's pretty large and you know if you're dealing with a communication site you're gonna have a lot of people going here and you probably want to show more than just this so then how do we fix it alrighty we're gonna edit the page and here's one of my favorite web parts. I like to use it, um, or it's a section actually. So if we click on any one of these plus signs, you'll see them all along. Well, let's see, I think this only has one giant section. Yeah, so on your standard communication site uh, homepage, I think it's the topic template, you get just one section with every web part in it, which I guess is fine. So if you wanna add other sections click on this plus sign over here and we're gonna add a vertical section so this is basically this is quick nav or excuse me um current navigation uh, or the left hand navigation oh well, yeah quick nav uh, but basically oh come on let me over there hmm. 
If anyone knows how to fix that, what are we doing? Oh, okay. I was over far enough. <laughs> By the way, I apologize. I'm using like a giant, like 43 inch monitor, and I'm like way too close to it. So, um, hold on, guys. We'll be we'll be right back. All right, I am hoping that you did not hear any of that. Um, I really hope you didn't, but I don't like to ignore calls from family, even if I'm in a, a live stream. So um, there we go. So what I was saying is, you know, I was looking for my scroll to scroll over, but I didn't realize I was already all the way over as far as I needed to be. Blah, blah, blah. Alrighty, um, let me get my taskbar back, because, uh, there. So, we're going to go in here, and we're going to go to Twitter, 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 and then you're going to add in whatever your handle is. What? Oh, yeah, I got to. If you're watching this Carolina Mike, the other Carolina Mike, we should chat. There we go. Alrighty. And then you can control some things about it. Let's go ahead and get, oh yeah, let's just talk about that. So let's talk about the options. Show Twitter header on off. So let's see what that does. So you, I'll demo it for you so you can see what it's going to do before you play around with it. So this notice what happens either you get the handle this little deal or off um, display dividers I think that's in between each tweet let's see it's display divide. oh yeah so it turned off the dividers I kind of like the dividers I think that's cool and then your theme you know everything's going dark theme so that's the trendy thing nowadays and then how many tweets you want to show so there you go that's all there is to it um, you can interact it'll basically bounce you out to Twitter if you want to do that so that's what I have for today it's a quick quick live stream and I would stay on longer if I had any questions in the chat or any emails so I promise you uh, we will just keep doing these short little you know segments here and then if we do get a question that we can dig in on something then that's exactly what we'll do until we resolve it um, well <laughs> or send them to the proper resource because um, you know I, I have a certain um, you know sort of jack-of-all-trades aspect to, to these things and so uh, if it gets to be something that we need to refer on, then I think our job as a community is to help that person get pointed in the right direction. So that's what we'll do. So until then, this is Carolina Mike saying thank you so much for tuning in to SharePoint in 60 seconds. Remember to smile as best you can. And you are important. Take it easy. Have a great day. SharePoint rocks, and so do you.